News is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tartola Pier Park, Envy Salon, Spa, Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tisley Cross, Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel, simply more speed, reliability and entertainment. James Tudman Construction has finally inked its first contract with the Recovery and Development Agency, RDA, and it's in excess of $2 million for the construction of a marine-based facility. Tudman Construction is a company formed in 1987. The custom and police is nothing new to James Tudman. In 1995, we built a police station at the Botanical Garden area, and I think it's 96, so long ago, we did the custom building there. So it's nothing new in the industry. James Salmon Construction built a relationship through the years. This year will be 36. We celebrate our 37 years. 35 years last year. We have done major projects throughout the BVI. We have built a reputation throughout the years. We maintain safety. We build a relationship with the clients. Our motive is not about money. I maintain saying that throughout my years. We need money, but we build a relationship. James Salmon Construction build relationship with the clients. After saying that, I would like to conclude by saying I want to thank the RDA for starting a relationship with James Stadman Construction. Thank each and every one who supported me. Senior Procurement Professional and the Director of Procurement at the Virgin Islands Recovery and Development Agency, RDA, Mr. John Primo, explains how this was made possible. The procurement for the construction of the Joint Marine Shore Base Building was done in accordance with the RDS procurement policy and general procurement procedures using the selection method of international competitive bidding. This procurement method provided for the publication of a pre-qualification notice in the United Nations development business, the local newspapers as well as in, in, as well as in the RD and GIS websites. Four pre-qualification applications were received from the BVI registered firms and following a rigorous shortlisting process to determine these firms' capabilities to undertake the project, invitations to tender were issued to three shortlisted firms to submit detailed, detailed technical and financial proposals. The fourth firm, unfortunately, did not meet the annual average the average annual turnover requirement for this project. At the submission deadline, the RDA received three tenders and detailed evaluations were done by evaluators consisting of members within the RDA and within and outside the RDA. Following these evaluations, it was determined that James Stadman construction was the highest ranked tender an evaluation panel recommended that this firm be awarded the contract for the construction of the Joint Marine Shore Base Building over a period of one year for a cost of $2,380,509 U.S. dollars and 87 cents. And according to Mr. Neil Smith of the RDA, this project is an output of the recovery and development plan. So. I would first like to say, though, that uh, the RDA is pleased uh, to be able to partner with the Governor's Office in the United Kingdom, uh, the Royal Virgin Islands Police Force, Immigration and Customs, and to some extent, VISA and the stakeholders in this area uh, to um, implement and commence the construction of this project. Um, this project is an output of the RDP, Recovering Development Plan, that was published, I think, first in 2018 and then subsequently in 2019, uh, that supports the overall outcome of good governance. Uh, and this specific output, as we say, this particular project, deals directly with what we call a sub-outcome, 
that is related to security and safety, which I think the minister spoke about. Uh, so it is essential, uh, we believe in the RDA, that um, the law enforcement and border control agencies in the BVA are supported by adequate infrastructure, uh, and that uh, the members of those institutions are well trained and have good equipment. So we really, really pleased uh, to be part of this. This is, I think, this is the sixth project uh, that we're doing uh, in that regard, and we've always been very tickled and pleased to be doing such a, these projects on behalf of the territory. In a move to motivate the local contractors, Acting Premier Honorable Kai M. Raima says it's time for them to block out the noise and have confidence in themselves. I may take yet another opportunity to commend our local contractors who have been working on all recovery and development projects, projects which are very expansive in scope and budget. Our local contractors have been demonstrating with confidence their capabilities competence and capacity for doing good work, quality work, and to deliver projects within budget and deadlines. This is proof of our abilities as Virgin Islanders. We must block out the noise and have confidence in ourselves to do and to achieve anything we set our minds on. It is anticipated that works on this project will commence on the 6th of February this year and conclude on the 6th of February 2024, giving the project one year to be completed. At this time, I would like to extend congratulations to the winning contractor, Mr. James Stadman of James Stadman Construction. I think we can give him a round of applause. <clears throat> Mr. James Stadman has been in this industry for over 35 years. And I think he celebrated that sometime last year. That is something that's nearly my age, so I must say that, you know, he has been there for quite some time. This is the first contract for the RDA for 2023 and is expected to start in February of this year and be completed by February of 2024. Now, since its establishment, the RDA has awarded contracts in excess of $54 million amongst approximately 252 contracts. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us, a bank that gives where it matters the most, for you, for our community, and a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. There are many ways to enjoy life, like so many ways to count on popular. Plug into Digicel Plus 
and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to Sell Plus.